Hello there everyone, right now in Cobalt it's 4.48pm on Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And don't forget, Bunny Day is just a few hops away, I guess that means we can expect a change in the weather. Why is it that as soon as we get used to one season, the next one is already upon us? Now for today's announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Cobalt welcome to Mint. It makes me so happy to have a new friend on the island. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and in your enjoyment of our island. And welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you for maintaining your Bank of Nook account. We do appreciate your business. You earn interest of 1,750 bells. Um, your earned interest of 1,750 bells has been added to your account. That's a lot less than I would have hoped. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but oh well. Um... A new resident move to a plot you set up as a small token of our appreciation. We put 1,000 Nook Miles into your account. Cool. Um, I should clean out some of these letters at some point. Uh, I see you have to delete them one at a time, which is stellar. Uh, not the biggest fan of that, I'm gonna be honest. Um, that's a kind of a recurring theme in this game. There's a lot of cool things that I wish uh, you could do, like in bulk, instead of, you know, individually throwing away every letter. Um, you know, sorting your inventory one at a time instead of, like, auto-sorting, like, with storage. Uh, anyway, here's our items haul of the last um, off-screen day. Uh, hey, even I gotta take a break sometimes. Partying's tiring. Um, so, it is Bunny Day. Also, that is a praying mantis. Hello. And we got the cherry blossoms, uh... Looking really pretty. Um... And, as we make our way to the town square... Absolutely nothing. I was expecting Zipper T Bunny to be here. Um... But we got little crickets now. Because one Bunny Day started... So I'm a little confused as to why there is no Bunny Day things going on that I'm aware of. Never mind. Look, I dug up an Earth Egg. So I have thoughts about this. Um, I'm gonna get these out of the way now. Um, I am a little conflicted on how holidays are being handled. I don't mind them being added through patches because, quite frankly, assuming you're not time traveling seven, eight months, um, you're not gonna have to worry about holidays for some time. However, I'm a little conflicted on at least this first one being as long as it is. It's from the 1st of the month to the 12th of April, and I have many reservations about that. Um, this year it should be Easter's the 12th. So I think having, oh there, there, there he is, uh, having say April 10 through 12, like just that weekend, like Friday through Sunday, would be sufficient. Having um, literally almost two weeks of Bunny Day might be a little overkill. I'm a little concerned about that. A weird DIY TV show I watched at 2am told me to make this, so I did. Here's the recipe, it's real easy. My head was stuck in my shirt and I still did the DIY. I hope you make it too. So I have a couple ideas of workarounds. Uh, the big thing obviously being more mystery tours. Um, I also got an iron door plate from someone who was crafting in their house. I think it was Shari again. Um, I keep ending up with sleeping bags and film projectors. Also found another message in the bottle from yesterday. So I was strolling along the beach listening to the waves roll in when suddenly I had this rad DIY idea. Then I thought, where's the fun in keeping the recipe to myself? I promised it might not explode. Uh, yeah, if your apple rug explodes, that would be a problem. That actually reminds me of a story where I actually had to get my phone replaced because the battery 
um, in the particular model of phone I had tended to swell up, uh, so I ended up having to get it placed. Um, so far so good, it's not swelling at the moment, but it kind of looks like it might start soon. It's, it's now a couple years old. Uh, at some point, I'll probably have to get a new phone, so that's not something I'm super looking forward to. Um, but yeah, uh, just to demonstrate, so we found, you know, trees with eggs, rocks with eggs, uh, balloons with eggs. Um... Okay, that did not work the way I thought it would. Uh, you can fish up eggs, is where I'm going with this. Um, and it's so over... Like, overdone, I guess is the word for it. What the heck? Egg message bottle. See, it's like the eggs are taking over. Um, here's an egg recipe present uh, just for wonderful you. What kind of recipe could it be? Well, what will it make? It's a hippity skippity mystery. Gather up eggs, craft it, and see. Um, so I see things are done a little bit differently. Uh, instead of just doing. Ooh, that's a dragonfly. So now we have a whole slew of bugs and fish to catch, but we can't really do a whole lot of the fishing because... Eggs. I feel like I'm playing a hand in time or Resident Evil, respectively. Um, I feel like both need explanation, and part of me thinks it'd be funnier not to give context to either, uh, but I will. Um, so in hand time, there's a famous seal who literally is holding an egg, and when you approach it, it goes egg in a really deadpan voice. So that's what I'm referring to there. Um, I didn't read that. I, I forgot that this was actually a new butterfly. Uh, common blue bottle. So, something about putting it in a green bottle or jar or something. I kind of missed it. Um, I can catch another one probably if it's, you know, designated as common. Um, Resident Evil, I should say before I forget, um, You Will Give Me an Egg is a very, very well-known line from Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil 5, I think. Also, Chip is here, so that's good to know, um, that, you know, our entire routine isn't going to be disrupted, um, only some of it, <laughs> because we can still do things like, you know, give things to Chip, um, so that's cool, um, I do feel like this game is doing a good job of balancing events. In the old games, you'd have to like actively uh, wait for one character to leave effectively and then come back and do other things. In this game, uh, things kind of... I, I don't want to say stack, but like you can have multiple things going on in your town at once. Like Sahara and Celeste, I think, were both in my town at the same time, which was a little trippy to see because I was not expecting to have both. When I saw Sahara, I was like, okay, probably won't have Celeste. Oh, wait, we do anyway. Um, also, still waiting on that shooting star, by the way. Uh, no luck so far. I haven't really been looking, in all fairness. Okay, there he is. What's up, fishinista? CJ here, coming at you live from right in front of you, nyuk. I'm touring the islands, looking for fresh faces and fresher fish to show off on my live stream. Fishing is reeling in all kinds of streaming numbers right now. Heard of eSports? Well, this is sea sports Anyway, if I need new fish if I want to keep my followers fallen, that's where you come in. If you got fish to sell, then I want to buy. Simple as that. I'll even pay premium, yuck. So you cash out, I get new selfies for my blog, and my viewers get to hear me talk fish. Everyone wins. So how about a challenge, sea sports style? Right now, win and I'll make a ring and talk you up on my stream. Plus my partner's into making slick collectibles if you want one. He's so talented, yuck, yuck. I want to see those fishing skills, and I just know my viewers do too. Here's how it'll go. I'll tell you what to fish to catch and you get fishing. But the hook is that it switches up each time. Gotta keep them guessing. Plus I can't afford another cheating scandal. Alright, that's the deal here. Are we ready for some sea sport action? Cause it's challenge time. Today, my viewers want you to reel in three big time fish in a row, so like blowfish size, uh, or so. If you wow my viewers, I'll, I'll wow you with some serious bells. I'll buy those fish off you like that. Uh, sure. You got it, chum. Time to dive in and school this challenge, yuck. Alright, today I want you to catch three time 
Three big time fish in a row, all about the size of a blowfish. And critters like soft shell turtles or snapping turtles also count. They're, they're pretty big too. Don't go catching other sized fish or my subscribers will get mad and there goes your streak. Don't let them slip off your hook either. That'll cut your streak too. Sorry, chat request. I know, I know, so many rules, but I gotta keep folks happy or my views drop. Now go catch something, yuck. This reminds me of something, and I don't know if I should go into it. <laughs> um... Okay, now I can catch another one to demonstrate. I guess I'm not gonna sell them these fish, because it'll not go well. Um, I'll put it in a rare green jar. Wow, I actually got most of it right. Um... So yeah, I guess we are just gonna sell these at Nooks, because, uh, I don't have any big fish to sell. Alright, so that's a snazzy looking record player. Um, and a nice mirror. Um, yeah, I can sell these. Actually, no, I'm gonna hold on to them in case I need to give something to someone. I found out you actually get, get a special dialogue if you give someone the item they gave you. Um, so, so I accidentally gave Shari, I think, a, an item that she gave me, and she was like, Wow, this looks really familiar. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, so we need to save this to... Did I sell the mantis? I, th I think I dropped it outside. I hope I did. Um... I've been accidentally releasing things a lot, so I'm a little concerned, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, okay, so I do still have everything out here. Um, we're gonna talk to uh, Zipper in a little bit. Um, I was mostly surprised to see CJ, obviously people assume he's related to Chip somehow. That's a cute little dress. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Nice little depth of field effect in this shop. Um, I don't know why that caught my eye. If you need something, could you talk to the other hedgehog, please? Oh, hey, Jonathan. Funny running into you here, ha ha ha. So funny. I like buying new stuff at the tailors, but I feel weird changing my clothes in the middle of the store. Ah, the classic Able Sisters theme. I really, really... Again, I really like the Able Sisters' characters because of all their backstory. Does this not rotate out? Because these are still there. I think these are different, though. This might work for the look I might go with. Um... As for the, um... <laughs> okay, um... Did that stack? Because I know you, you can buy multiple things at a time, and I'm like, did that, like, stack with the other item? Okay, maybe you can only buy one at a time. Of, like, one outfit type kind of a thing. Um, yeah, glasses, not to my liking today. These top hats are cute. There's some cute stuff here today. Um, but not anything super, like, me, if that makes sense. Actually... I like how your character's pose changes as you check out more options. Um, I don't know, it's, it's always the little details I really like in these games. Um, but yeah, it's like just some standard jeans, but I'm not really getting any luck with those, uh, sadly. But yeah, the shirt's nice, but I think I'll stick with that for now. You look great, thanks for your business. I'll go ahead and ship what you were wearing before directly to your storage at home. That's really convenient too. Um, just shipping things like that. Again, I don't know if we can eventually get Sable to warm up to us. That's usually a staple of the series, but um... Usually takes like two weeks. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit. Um... I feel like we should also, uh, check out, um fact that we did move Shari's house. I'm, I'm gonna move Pierce's house up a little bit farther too. Um, again, now that I have plenty of bells, I have a lot more of a game plan. Uh, I really, really plan to... Like... 
really crack down and start customizing my town because I've been kind of taking it slowly and not doing a whole lot. Actually, these kind of work. Um, is what I'm looking for. The other denim pants, if they were, were a different color, that would work too. Yeah, that works for now. Um... Alright, so with that being taken care of, uh, let's actually check in with Resident Services first. You can tell I'm really big on uh, Easter <laughs> because I'm, I'm somewhat putting off uh, the Bunny Day activities. Alright, so let's get our daily uh, miles. Let's also check what's new in the store. Um, probably nothing too fancy. A flamingo, that's tempting. <laughs> to put outside someone's house. Um, hmm. Yeah, nothing too fancy today. Um, and also check the... Whatchamacallits? The Nook Miles rewards. Again, I might get some more Nook Miles tickets and do some off-screen fishing to try to still keep up our money, keep up our income. But really quickly, I wanted to um, set up placing the uh, the bridge, not the bridge, the incline, because I did decide where I want to put the incline last time, and then I was like, wait a minute, I can't build it until tomorrow, so I have to wait. Um, so yeah, now we can actually put up the incline. Um, like so. Again, we could go more basic. Um, I kind of want to keep it fancy. So yeah, we'll go with this. Again, I'll, I'll mess around with some staircases off screen once we have the ability to carve out cliffs and things. Um, to make, you know, different staircases to the museum. Um, and while we're here, nice have the book just kind of clip through the desk. It's always weird when little small things pop up like that because so much of the game's presentation is really good. Oh look, we're up to a two-star rating. There's some positive buzz floating around the Battle Island. Folks are starting to take notice. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. I've been shipwrecked there a few times, so I consider myself an authority, and I've got ideas. Here's one, I feel like a fellow's rescue party might arrive a bit sooner if that place had more stuff going on. Add some hustle, add some bustle, make your island a port of call that'll turn heads and drop anchors. Well, there you have it. According to recent feedback, the general sentiment is that this island lacks appealing scenery. Well, I think there's only one way to respond to this information. Decorate the entire island head to toe or stream to sea. If you use the resources found in the island and decorate with items you've created, I bet you can improve the island's scenery and folks thoughts on their natural landscape at the same time. And there you have it. Um, cool, so we are moving up in the world. And with that, I think we're gonna call it for now. And next time we're gonna see what uh, Zipper T Bunny is up to. So thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing. New Horizons.